into the conduct of the Economic and Organized Crimes Office uh, following what uh, they say is a failure by the state agency to probe the Cecilia Dapa cash saga. Well, the petitioners who include former Auditor General Daniel Domelevo, legal practitioner Martin Pebu, and political science professor Ransford Jampo argue the inability of Iyoko to probe the matter cannot be countenanced, hence a demand for a thorough probe. Uh, let's walk you through some key issues raised by the petitioners. And uh, Iyoko, we know, uh, according to them, had enough basis to investigate Madame Dapa for money laundering uh, as she was inconsistent and unable to provide the source of her funds. Uh, it goes further to say that the failure to explain the source of her funds uh, should have been the cornerstone uh, into Iyoko's investigations. Uh, they go further to say that uh, the deliberate refusal by Iyoko to take steps to protect the monies seized from the residents of the former uh, minister by the OSP uh, uh, leaves much to be desired. Now, they go further to say the OSP uh, stating that Yoko lacks the appetite to probe the matter despite the detailed information it shared with them um, also leaves much to be desired.